Hello and welcome to a modern Tribal Wars video. Uh, today I am playing Hydras. Uh, I'm going with the very straightforward, very green uh, plan of making lots of mana and then putting that mana into big creatures. So we've got the synergies of things that make lands, uh, enchantments that make lands tap for more mana. So Utopia, Sprawl and Wolf Below Haven, also Nyssa. And then things that untap lands, so Arbor Elf, uh, Magus of the Candelabra, and uh, Garrett Wildspeaker. And then for the Hydras themselves, got Primordial Hydra, enters with X11 counters, Being of Europe keep it doubles, Tramble as long as it's got 10 more plus 11 counters. This is good because you can, if you're uh, failing to get huge amounts of mana, you can still play this with just 3 and then eventually it'll become a huge threat, not ideal, but it does work. Voracious Hydra and uh, Pelucranus are there to offer some interaction with the opponent, opposing creatures. Thunderous Snapper, whenever you cast a spell with Converted Mana, costs 5 or greater to draw a card. Try and keep the, the gas flowing. Spend all your mana on. Colonial Hydra. When it attacks, double the number from 1-1 counters on each creature you control. Gargos, Hydra spells you cast costs four less to cast, and whenever a creature you control comes to attack the spell, Gargos fights. What's one creature you don't control? And Hydra Breedmaster um, gets big and makes lots of tokens as well, lots of large tokens, so you can single handedly create a board. And then the other thing is Oath of Nyssa, just to provide some extra consistency, get to your lands in the early game, or untapping creatures or planeswalkers in the mid game or big hydras in the end game oh and castle garen brew also there to uh, add a bit more extra ramp all right let's get into it all right it's round one versus yokai i'm on the play and i don't have any ramp <laughs> Oath of Nyssa could find uh, like an Arbor Elf or something, but it can't get the uh, the enchantments. Um, Primordial Hydra is fine without too much mana, but the, all, the, all the other ones are 6 mana, so I think I'm going to mulligan. Okay, well this has only got one land, but it does have some other means of getting, getting mana. Uh, so I go turn one Arbor Elf, turn two tap the forest, play Utopia Sprawl, untap it, two more Utopia Sprawls, looking at eight mana, alright I think I'm going to put the Hydra Breed Master back. So if this Arbor Elf survives, I'm probably probably in pretty good shape, but there's very little guarantee of that. The Ozolith. Whenever a creature you, can, you control leaves the battlefield, it had counters on it. The Ozolith gets them instead. And beginning of a combat, you can move counters from the Ozolith onto a creature. So I'm going to guess it's a counter-centric deck. Okay. Uh, let's just attack for one. Looking at 9 mana next turn. I can make a 14 14 Voracious Hydra or a 7 7 Voracious Hydra that eats something. Uh, I think I'm just going to make a very large Voracious Hydra and hope that wins the game.
Is that right? Yeah. I think making a fourteen fifteen voracious hydra on turn three. It's got trample and the opponent's got only showed green mana so far. So yeah, that just does it. Okay. <laughs> um this is a fairly speculative hand, but I think I will keep it. Not going to be quite as explosive as last last game. Let's start off with the Utopia Sprawl. Welding Jar, okay. So artifacts and plus one encounters is probably um, what is it called? Constructs. I think walking blister was a construct. Uh, so it's Arbor Elf and then play out. I probably should have played the played the oath of Nissus first to see what I got. So, yeah, I can potentially play a Nissa next turn, that'll be pretty good. Uh, so let's say six mana next turn. Play Garrick, two mana, five mana, play Nissa. Let's take Garrick. Scrapyard Recombiner, I'm not familiar with this one. Modular two, sacrifice an art to hack the search your library for a construct card. That's cool. So comes in with three because of the hardened scale. Decides not to use the line of our reborn. So fall to play Garrick. Nissa uh, So if I attack could block and regenerate and lose my land and my planeswalkers are vulnerable to being attacked back, so I think they'll just I think I'll just pass here. Uh, or alternatively, I could play Oath of Nyssa. No, I want to keep the Garrick in, or Garrick around if I, if I can. This time uses the Lonoa Reborn. So, sacrifice the Artban Worker, Modular puts the Puts four counters on there, Hardened Scales grows it. Also puts them onto the Ozolith. And 
and searches for walking ballista. So this is going to come down as a 2 2. Hose lift gets put onto there, makes it a 7 7. I can certainly do some damage to my board. Okay, killing the Arbor Elf, certainly makes sense. And the land, it looks like. Get to be, keep both my planeswalkers though. Okay, so we're looking at. Two, four, seven. Maybe I'll just play Colonial Hydra and as big as Primordial Hydra I can. So what was I saying? Two, four, seven. An extra five from Garrett Wildspeaker. On taps. Thirteen plus another two or three from Nissa. Sixteen. Yeah, it seems reasonable. down as a 7-7. Seven, seven. bad for me. <laughs> uh, possibly I'm just dead to the walking ballista. Just putting all the counters onto the walking ballista. And pinging me down. Yeah, yeah, I definitely am. To make sure that Yokai actually does it there. Okay, yeah, I mean, I just put some on, and I'm dead. Nah, this won't do. Yeah, I can't imagine this doing either. Okay. Put that, that clean hydra. Um, I guess I'll probably put one back one of the hydras. Primordial hydra can potentially do more with less mana. But it is more vulnerable to like a walking ballista. Uh, keep the primordial. Oh, that was not a very good hit. Super great draw, either. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that is not very on time, but I can play it and still play a three mana. Primordial Hydra. Play Colonial Hydra next turn. Just kind of hope your guy's hand is a bit clunky. Yeah. <laughs> it's not feeling super clunky. I had to feel like a sort of hand that could kill me very quickly. But my deck is not well designed to react to what the opponent's doing, so I just play big green creatures and hope they work out. <laughs> certainly kill all my creatures. Possibly you can just kill me as well. Yeah, each of these represents... Yeah, yeah, I'm super dead. Let's eat all the Thopters, sacrifice the Arkbound Ravage to itself, put the counters on walking ballista and then the Ozolith and then it triggers and walking ballista becomes huge so we're going to turn to Wolf Willow Haven if I hit another land I can play a 2-2 two, two, Primordial Hydra on turn 3. It's not a great hand. I think it's not quite good enough to Mulligan. We'll see how it pans out, but the point of these Primordial Hydras is, or part of the point of them is to be uh, okay in low mana situations. See what we're facing straight away. Vampires. It's gonna be the one-one death touch. Yeah, life link. Uh, so that death touch is gonna be a bit of a nuisance. As will that one. Primordial Hydras can just grow big enough to be able to trample through and kill in one turn. Well, I don't mind getting some more mana. <laughs> so I missed land drop. Well, I guess it comes out post combat, but no. Uh, it's got six mana. I could either just play the Thunderous Snapper, or I could Nissa, and then I could play the Thunderous Snapper afterwards. I get a Nissa out, but. I get one less draw from the Thunder Snapper. I think I'll just go for the Thunder Snapper.
gatekeeper, okay. Starting to get <laughs> uh, a little bit awkward. So I could play Nissa on tap. Five mana, play a Voracious Hydra, fight the gatekeeper. That's okay. Well, no, I probably don't want to risk the forest with the wolf over Haven on. So I'll just play a 2 3 Hydra. A voracious Hydra. Since it's. Might well just trade off with one of these 1 1s, regardless of whether it's a 2 3 or a 3 4. for Nyssa. I think that's fine. Vampire Nighthawk, okay. Got eleven mana plus two or three more from the Nissa on tap. Yeah, I guess let's play Cloning Hydra and Primordial Hydra. Trading off the forest for a vampire nighthawk here. Don't expect it to happen, but. Take, choose elemental to kill off the two forests, yeah. So they're all attacking Nissa. Okay. Not all attacking Nissa. It's like a block one of the uh Little vampires with voracious hydra to keep Nistra alive. Uh, so Dion Mag's going up to 30. This will come in at 8 8. Attack with everything. This will be 16, 24, 28. Minus 1, or minus 2. So I can't kill on the crack back. I might be able to, if I block Nissa stays alive, untap that, that'd be 16, 24, 30, 20, so it's still not quite killing. But I think I will just block the Vampire of the Dire Moon. That little Hydra. with 
to Forest, so I'll play a second Nissa. So this is 24, 33. Uh, ah, but the, the these have trampled, the uh, Forest don't. Block the two forest, take twenty four, gain three. So let's make a forest creature. This Nissa is going to die from the attack. So I think probably. Do you want to play the second Nissa? I think I might want to just um, sacrifice a wolf or haven. So if I untap that, I think I just passed the turn. Without any attacks. Because our signal's not really relevant. I think this Primordial Hydra being a 32 32 will be enough to win the game, even through all the blockers. Thirty-two, forty, fifty-eight, sixty. Go trample. <laughs> I think I keep this. Not ideal again with. If I can go to turn one Arbor, I'll turn two, three mana Arbor on Arbor Hydra. Well, Magus is not very good on its own, but once it gets to Nissa, it does actually start generating a bunch of mana. <laughs> So I can be making a bunch of one one <laughs> for the next few turns. Another eighth of born, okay. Turn is going to be very much like last turn. Okay. Bye bye, my hydras.
attack for seven down to four. I could block the Dire Moon. Go down to get hit for six down to five. And then if I can get a creature into play, I can block one of these two threes next turn. We only be taking four down to one. Yes, yeah, so we can only make this a two three. <laughs> for me at this point. Uh, yeah, it's because I've got to double chomp because of the leech ridden swamp. Uh, so maybe there's a two mana card in my deck that I forgot about that wins me the game here. No, there isn't. Well, I think I keep this. Reasonable draw. So Garen Brig or Garrett Wildspeaker. So I play play the Arbor Elf, play the other land, that's two, three, four, five next turn. Assuming the armor elf lives. Doesn't I can still get up to th uh, I can still get up to four if I take the capsule Garen Brig. So I think I'll do that. I can stop playing blue pronouncers. Play Pelucranus. So I kind of want to be in a position where I can trade off the Pelucranus with its ability against a couple of vampires so I can play the other Pelucranus. Maybe I'll be a vampire nighthawk or a witch's vengeance. Ah, this is pointless, I suppose, but <laughs> good habit to get into it. Uh, so I think I'll just attack for five and play the Colonian Hydra. Six mana, but unfortunately, Ophin is not a creature. So 
So maybe the Witch's Vengeance taking out the Arbor Elf might indicate a Gatekeeper of Malak here. Okay, just a Vampire Nighthawk. See what the Earth of Nyssa gives me. Gives me a voracious Hydra. Set up a bit more, I suppose. Do nothing. Okay. And the Hall of Triumph. It's a bit of a nuisance. Spend three to turn this to a six six and ping the Dante Vanguard probably just to deal four damage. Reliance, I'm looking at three four I'm looking at seven mana next turn. But she's only making this with uh three. Which is not enough to actually kill one of these things, so just do this. Okay, just deal full damage. Attack with both seven seven and eight eight. The gifted eighth form presumably trades with the big height the Clonian. Deal five damage down to one, but gain three back, so fourteen. And then probably block this with the Dante Vanguard, take four, going down to ten. Maybe I need to keep the Colonial Hydra all around. Just be able to double up a big voracious Hydra and just win it all in one go. That's probably the case. So I'm just going to attack with the uh, Pelucanos and find trading that with the 3 4 8 of Born or just gain in 4 damage. The Dante Vanguard blocks and gains the Indestructible. So looking at seven mana, so I can make this a ten eleven. Potentially attack a twenty eight next turn. Twenty eight trample. So yeah, I think I'll do that.
one one. So that one card left might be a path to exile. So if we attack, that's 28. Uh, minus four, five, six, seven, it's 21, plus five points of life gain. 16 down to, th so it'll be down to three. Uh, so what am I looking at here? Six, three, four, six, so eight mana. So I could play the Pelucanos, monster is it for one to fight the Dante Vanguard. Uh, to survive, you need to sit for four damage. Put it down to 15, I attack for enough to kill. That all sounds reasonable. <laughs> we'll see how it all actually works out. I suppose I can also just play the Oath of Nyssa first. Probably would have been better to do this before, activating the ability. Oh, Castle Garenbrig. So let's take the Primordial Hydra. Don't think that changes my play. think unless there's a path to exile in hand we should win unless I've miscounted somewhere let's find out nope nailed it and it's round three versus Thy Shuffler. I'm on the draw. Uh, another hand where the ramp synergies don't quite come together. I think I still keep it. No, it wasn't a great draw. So this might well be a goblin combo deck. Or a... Well, I suppose double two snow-covered swamps kind of suggests high and black, which probably means not goblins, probably means zombies. Maybe it's a zombie combo deck. Some kind of... Something to put plus one counters on. A creature when it enters the battlefield plus a sacrifice outlet. So I'm just doing nothing this turn. Yes, it's like some kind of combat. <laughs> Could just be like a metallic mimic. If it's something that um, puts one more counters, 
plus one plus one counters when the goblin future goblin enters the battlefield. Then killing it with the voracious hydra fight does actually buy stop the combo from going off straight away. Slash so did miss a land. Yeah, I think I think I am going to uh, just try and fight the the, the goblin. I think the my biggest concern here is just dying to a combo. <laughs> Dementia gets activated on me, so presumably no great about synergies from the shuffler's side. Yeah. <laughs> or on our earth. Thunder Snapper and Oath of Nyssa, or I could just Colonial Hydra. Kind of tempted to just ignore the Thunder Snapper. I think I want to just try and close the game as quickly as possible. Colonial Hydra would be good with good for that, so especially Colonial Hydra into Colonial Hydra. Uh, you know, I guess I should uh, should have attacked first. But. Maybe this will be a removal spell. Nope, just tap shot land. Can't get counters, can't counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, and chance or lands. But this doesn't get rid of the counter, so if you sacrifice this, it won't come back. But a, uh, another putrid goblin will kill me next to him. So I can attack for four, uh, I can attack for 15, but. Suppose if, oh uh, yeah. No, I suppose if there was another on Earth, uh, Shuffler could have got one last turn by sacrificing the Goblin and unearthing it. Yeah. See if Oath Nissa gives me anything relevant. Well, it's Oath of Nissa for Nissa. For Nissa. Still won't let me win though, because uh, the land doesn't get trampled. So even oh, can't get counters. <laughs> Counters can't be put on creatures, artifacts, enchantments, or lands. Alright, so I guess I'm just attacking for six. So this solemnity is really good against me. <laughs> yeah. And it's just another future goblin, so I'm dead. Servant. Alright, I guess I'm keeping this.
I think I should grab a forest. Five mana, three if like three left if I uh, Garrick on tap. I think I'll just uh, play a snapper. but took to a mega four five gracious high George played Garrick yeah I probably don't want to spend over each of Hydra a lesson uh, X equals three so I want to thunder a snapper to be triggered ideally uh, so yeah, just play out Garrick and play Make a beast. Utopia Sprawl, I tap two lands, just trying to decide whether it's better to make a bigger voracious Hydra or another beast. Yeah, big trample creature is probably better. fighting the carrion feeder because there's another sacrifice outlet. So maybe say twelve thirteen. Hope there's not a solemnity into a and a uh, whatever you call it. Goblin. Assist goblin. on life. So this makes you unkillable along with uh, Solemnity. Answers for Solemnity for Ancient on Life combo. Just trying to know, just figuring, trying to figure out whether it's better to make another three-three, or set this, set the Garrick up to be able to 
ultimate, get trample. Uh, so if so remove the spell for Rageous Hydra and make a 3-3. Three, three. Attack for 10. Blunderous gets blocked. But otherwise I get... Yeah, but the ultimate goes 13. Trample. So that's probably better. So let's just hope there's no Solemnity in hand. Yeah, of course there is. <laughs> yeah, that's a putrid goblin anyway. And there we have it. Only came out with a 1-2 record, but I thought that was a uh, fairly interesting set of matches. It's a nice diversity of different kinds of decks I faced. That uh, Round 1 was sort of a... <laughs> race to do race to uh, put something very large a very large creature into play where I'm just trying to uh, ramp up to something large and yokai was assembling these bunch of synergies to make something huge I mean I think his deck is probably more like seem more powerful that even when I won with a 14 15 a voracious hydra on turn three that would still have required attacking twice whereas he can put together a 2020 walking ballista and kill me all in one go uh, and then round two demonstrating why trample is such a, <laughs> a vital element to to these creatures and then um round three dem sort of showed off uh the problem with this deck with regards to facing combo decks that the limited amount of interaction all we've got is voracious hydrant polycranus to to fight things it means that the deck has a hard time disrupting combo stuff even even without solemnity screwing <laughs> screwing me up, which was pretty funny, but uh, I don't think it actually affected the outcome of the the game. That it was just the unanswered combo that that won, and I couldn't kill quick enough to to outrace it. All right, thank you very much for watching.